it's one thing to have rights on paper, uh, it's another to, to make sure that those rights actually mean something and that's what we're trying to, to do is advocate for rights, uh, the protection and advancement of rights. A new pro bono legal clinic has launched at the University of Manitoba. It's an initiative designed to assist underserved Manitobans while also increasing public awareness about rights-based issues. This rights clinic has four main uh, aspects to it, so uh, actually working on cases, uh, but then also advocacy not focused on cases, um, just raising awareness about important rights-focused issues. Uh, also a, a mini think tank where we do research about rights-related uh, issues and concepts. Uh, and then finally, uh, informational sessions and presentations put on by the students, uh, letting people know uh, what their rights are and uh, you know, in what situations they, they have rights and how they can exercise them. The clinic focuses on assisting Manitobans with rights advancing issues and cases in the areas of environmental rights, charter, indigenous, disability, privacy rights and more. The clinic will have supervising lawyers, but the brunt of the work will be done by third year law students, benefiting both them and the client. I think having uh, you know, a fantastic understanding of rights uh, as a concept, but then also see how uh, rights play out uh, or sometimes don't play out on the ground uh, is going to be really helpful. Raven Richards is a second-year law student who assisted in developing the clinic. She says the work the clinic aims to do will be very valuable to underserved communities. One of the focuses where um, the we are hoping to teach students and you know organizations, clients, patients, and such um, about the citizens' rights when interacting with police will be very beneficial. In Manitoba, there's um, there's a tremendous need uh, for legal representation and education. Richard Jockelson is the Dean of Law of the University of Manitoba. He says access to justice is a problem in Manitoba and assisting those who can't afford a lawyer or qualify for legal aid fulfills the special responsibility of a law school to increase access. He hopes the clinic broadens Manitobans' understanding of what a human right represents. Not everyone that's, that's being oppressed or in a situation of vulnerability is being targeted by the state, you know, with, with, with police officers in tow. There's the whole aspect of the administrative state that kind of controls their lives. And that's where this rights clinic can really fill the gap. Those moments that are not about necessarily your liberty, but about your ability to, to just get through your day-to-day -day tasks. And I think that's where uh, the rights clinic will be a really interesting player. The clinic will be taking public applications for their first clients and cases through their website in the coming weeks. In Winnipeg, Mike Albanese, City News. In one minute.